Hello coders and developers. Welcome to Guild Geekify Programming. I'm Saeed Kohansel, your guide on this exciting journey through the world of full-stack web development. Let's dive in and start creating something amazing together. In this video, I want to fully explain ASAR archives to you and also teach you how to extract, pack, and other tasks with these types of files. I will introduce you to two methods, GUI using 7-zip software and CLI using the Electron Archive module for performing these tasks. ASAR, Atom Shell Archive, is a file format used by Electron to bundle an application's files into a single archive. It is similar to a .tar file, but without compression. ASAR archives are commonly named app.asar and are placed inside the resources directory of an Electron app. ASAR is created for performance, simplified packaging, protection, and smaller app size. It helps in efficiently managing resources and ensures that applications are both secure and lightweight. Alright, to work with ASAR files, let's start by installing the prerequisites. I should mention that if you want to proceed with the 7-zip method, you don't need to install these prerequisites. Okay, we need to install node.js and npm. To install Node, you can visit its website and download it according to your operating system. You can also use package managers to install Node and NPM. I have installed the NVM tool in my Windows environment, which is a Node.js version management utility for Windows. You can download and install this tool from here. It easily fetches and installs Node and NPM for you, and it is very simple to use. Okay, if you have installed Node directly using the installer, you need to run this command to install NPM and set up the environment. As I mentioned, I am using NVM. Let's check if all the prerequisites are installed on my system and ready to use. Yes, as you can see, Node and NPM are installed on my machine. Well, at this step, I want to show you a sample application that I have built with Electron.js called Safe Password Generator or SPG for short. As you can see, these are the files of the application. Let's run this app. I chose this Electron-based app for you to work with the ASAR file. Alright. I have a tutorial video on my YouTube channel where I convert this web application into a cross-platform desktop application using Electron, which is the one I just ran for you. You can watch this video and learn how to do it. You can also download different versions of this app from my GitHub. Well, let's get to the main point, which is working with the ASAR file. In this method, I first want to teach you how to work with ASAR archives using the 7-zip software. With this method, you can easily manage these types of archives just like zip archives, and you can extract or create them. As you know, in Electron apps, the ASAR file is named app.asr and is located in a folder called resources. Yes, exactly here. To run and work with ASAR files, first download and install the 7-zip software specific to your operating system from its website. Well, I currently have the 7-zip software installed on my system. When I try to open this ASAR file, I encounter such an error. To add support for ASAR files to the 7-zip software, we need a small plugin that is available on this site. I will provide the download link for you. The name of this plugin is ASAR7Z. I have downloaded this plugin and have it here. 
Inside this zip file, there are two DLL files that you should use based on the version of 7-zip you have installed. I have installed the 64-bit version, so I will use the DLL for the 64-bit version. Simply go to the installation directory of your 7-zip software, then create a folder named Formats and place this DLL file inside that folder. OK, by doing this, we have added ASAR format support to the 7-zip software. Now, let's try to open this ASAR file that previously encountered an error. Perfect. As you can see, the ASAR file was successfully opened. Now you can use the contents inside this ASAR archive just like a zip file. You can view them, delete them, add to them, extract them, and also create new archives in ASAR format. For example, this is the logo of this electron-based application that I designed earlier. You can drag and drop the new files you want to add to the archive. Let's extract this archive for testing. OK, now let's create a new archive from these existing contents. Very well, the new archive has been created. Now we can replace the archive that was in the application, and if we do this, we will see that the application runs correctly and works. So far in this video, we have learned how to manage ASAR archives using the 7-zip software. Now it's time to learn the CLI method. In this step, I want to teach you how to work with ASAR archives using the official Electron module called Electron Archive. This is the GitHub repository for the module we want to install and use. In this section, there is usage information for the commands. I will test all of them for you in order. First, let me move my ASAR file into another folder so we can work on it there. All right. I have created a text file and written the simplified commands in it for you. First, let's install this module globally by running this command. All right, I'll open the terminal to the directory where our ASAR file is located. Then, I'll run the installation command. Yes, the module has been successfully installed. We can also check the version of this module and confirm its installation by running this command. As you can see, this is the final version of the module installed on my system, which is version 3.2.13. Alright, you can print the usage information in your terminal by using the help command. Yes, this is the same usage info we saw in the GitHub repository. Well, we can use the list command to view the names of all the files inside our ASAR archive in the terminal. I will run this command on our ASAR archive. Yes, as you can see, all the files inside the archive are displayed here.
In this step, I want to extract a specific file for you using this command. We can extract a file from the ASAR archive using the extract file command. Yes, as you can see, the files are being extracted one by one. All right, in this step, let's fully extract an ASAR archive. The extract command will extract the entire archive into a desired folder. In this command, I have chosen the folder name extracted. Yes, as you can see, the archive has been successfully extracted. And now for the final command, which is creating an ASAR archive. We can use the pack command to create an archive from the contents of a folder. At the end of the command, you need to specify the name of the new archive you want to create. All right, the archive has been successfully created. Now, let's compare the new archive with the previous one. As you can see, they are exactly the same size, or better to say, they are identical. All right, as the final test, I want to replace the previous ASAR archive with the one I just created to check if the application works. Let's proceed with this test. Perfect. As you can see, the application works correctly. So, that's the method for managing ASAR files using the CLI. If you found this video helpful or enjoyable, please give it a thumbs up. To stay updated with my latest content, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I value your thoughts and feedback, so don't hesitate to leave a comment. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video beneficial. Because I will not quit, not because I want this, don't try to stop me now.